Okay, so now we're going to do a creative type tutorial. And you're going to find this is going to be a lot of fun. To begin with, we're going to look at the type up here. Where it says font, you will see that you will have a list of typefaces. And if you go to the arrow that's on the side of the typefaces, you can see the styles that are on that typeface. Also, you will see that there's an example of what that typeface will look like. Now let's go to our type tool and click here. You will see that up in the option box, you have a lot of choices. And I'm going to use Franklin Gothic Heavy for this project. So let's begin by holding down the Shift key and typing the word huge. Okay, so I'm going to drag with my selection tool, drag a corner. When I get the double arrow, I know that I can make it larger. And holding down the Shift key keeps the perspective of the type. Okay, so now this is now still edible type. But I want to change this into objects. So I go to Type and Create Outline. So this is no longer type. These are separate objects. And that means that I can do a lot of the things to this type that can be done to objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Direct Selection tool. And remember that the Direct Selection tool selects a portion of an object, either an anchor point or a group of anchor points, or a stroke. Now I deselect it, and I'm going to come here on the bottom of this H, and marquee over these two anchor points. And while holding down my Shift key to keep this straight, I'm going to drag down the leg of that H. Now I'll go here on the U and drag these anchor points up. And you can see it's starting to look quite personal. I'm going to drag down the G and take the end of this leg on the E and drag that up. Oh, I went to the side. I'm going to hold down the Shift key. And there we go. So now you see it looks quite different. But I want to make it different still. So I'm going to divide this type in half and color the top of the hat um, a type one color and have the bottom half another color. So to do that, go to the pen tool and click here outside the H about the middle of where the cross H crosses and hold down my shift key to make a perfectly straight line. There we go. Okay, so now it is divided and I will take and marquee over the type and the stroke that I put on. Now, if you don't have your Pathfinder panel open, go to Window and Pathfinder. Now, while this is selected, oops, it's selected on me. Okay, I'm going to go to the Pathfinder panel and click on Divide and then go to Object and Expand. Okay. Now, this is divided into two pieces. I'm going to select just the top um, ones, but um, you saw I was using my black selection tool, and it selected the whole thing. 
So what I'm going to do is go to my group selection tool here and select just the top of this and make it red. That look nice. Okay, so now I'll select both the top and the bottom, and I want to do something a little bit more to this. So I'm going to go to Effect and Stylize and Round Corners. And I can preview this to see what it looks like. And oh, I like that very much, just the way it is. And I'm going to say OK and do select so you can see. So now these have rounded corners and they look very different from what we started with. But I still would like to do a little more to this. So I'll select the whole thing and go to Effect and Warp and Slide. And I can come here on the preview and see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty. That's more than I wanted. Let's try wave. Now that's a little better. Now I can change the bend or distort with the horizontal or vertical if I want. But I think what I'm going to end up with is influence. And I'll say OK. So here we have it inflated. But you see the old type is still there, the old object. So the last thing we'll do is go to Object and Expand Appearance. And there we go. We have a wonderful stylized type that was very easy to do. Now what I'd like you to do is take your name or some other word and use the techniques that we just went through and make your own logo or what have you or um, title, whatever you want, and put it on a page and put your name on it and print it out. Thanks. I hope you have fun with this.